welcome guys to another lesson this will be a very short lesson so this here i'm going to talk about how to access the native apis with c types of pywin32 some applications or os functions are not easily accessed from regular python code because no python api exists or no user-friendly operations are exposed that you can call from python the C-Types module can provide an alternative means of access by exposing to Python the C code libraries from which the application is built. And in Windows, these libraries are typically a set of DLL, DLL files, or in Unix, a set of shared object libraries. C-Types enables us to load these libraries into our application and call their functions directly from python this only works of course if you know what functions are in the library what arguments are required and the return values this may not be published and you then have to resort to trial and error or reverse engineering which may in turn be be prohibited by the manufacturer or vendor however if the library has a published interface C types provides an effective although non-trivial method of access some word of caution using C types requires a basic knowledge of C programming if you don't have that skill you may want to skip this section because it may not make much sense on the other hand just following through and lets you see what's the potential if you should need it when you use C types, you leave the safety net of the Python interpreter behind. Remember that you are working with the raw OS libraries and sometimes directly accessing memory locations. The libraries also work with the raw file system and input output streams. So they may not show the result you expect in an IDE like idle or Python win. If you make a mistake, you can easily cause the python interpreter to crash it, in uh, extreme cases you could even cause the os to crash this is why you should treat c types and its friends as last resort only to be used when all else fails another package installed by default is uh, in the active state distribution of python for windows or available for download in on other distribution is pywin32 this package provides access to the Windows native libraries and in particular to any Microsoft components, component object model, also called COM interfaces. Being Windows specific, it is usually easier to use than C types, which works gener uh, gener generically on any operating system. The same caveats, uh, caveats apply when using PyWin32 uh, as applied to C types. So accessing the operating system libraries, one area that is usually well documented is the OS application programming interface API that is exposed in standard system libraries. So in this section, we will use the OS libraries to perform some fairly simple tasks that are nonetheless uh, not available via Python's OS module. And this method is particularly useful for windows user because many of the unix like features in the os module do not work or only work partially under windows so accessing the win32 api directly by c types or pywin32 is often the only option one note is that c types does not work with static libraries nor does it work with c++ libraries unless the functions have been explicitly exported as C functions. So uh, I will only show a, a, a slightly practical function in the Windows library called the msvcrt dot underscore get drives. This returns a list of available drives on a Windows system, something not easily done using Python standard OS module. The only complication is that the return list is a bit mask, so we need to write a loop to test each bit to find out which bits are set and map the bit position into a drive letter. 
So let's just refresh this our uh, our Python interpreter. We also need to import something else. Not lib, well, not import, but we need to designate. Uh, the MS MSVCRT to uh, uh, a variable. Create our drive list. So these are the drives that are available on my computer. So and Microsoft Developers Network, msdn.microsoft.com has full documentation for the standard Windows library function. So this is the only thing that I would like to present. If you want to work more on with C Python, you should explore it a bit more. Uh, uh, I'd like to work also present another uh, option uh, that's working accessing a Windows application using com the com library accessing an application library is, is almost as easy as accessing an OS system library provided you can get documentation for the contents of the library however that is not always readily available Another option on Windows is to use the OS functions to access the COM objects and then manipulate the COM objects from Python. Unfortunately, COM is a complex technology and has been extended over time to include features such as distribution over a network, as well as various data access mechanisms. Compounding the difficulty is the fact that documentation for COM objects is often sparse and hard to find. Nonetheless, COM is often the most effective option for automating Windows applications. The easiest way to use COM objects in Python is to use the PyWin32 package, and which is available at the uh, SourceForge uh, Forge website. Or so, if you go to the SourceForge uh, website, and or you can. Uh, just Google Py, download PyWin32 SourceForge, you will get to the page and you download the latest build uh, for your uh, for your um, uh, your system. Here, you just have to find which system you want to use it for. And then you have to restart 
the your computer you can find the pywin installed when you restart it and just let me find where it's uh, installed if you just give me one second I just had to remember where to look. It's under, it installs itself under the Python installation. And you can type in the code that I'm going to show you here, line by line, or you can, I will also post this code uh, in the download section of the, uh, of the, lesson so what it is does is find it's open opens the excel file that we used to hire excel desks and goes through and opens the the work uh, workbook make the application visible excel uh, excel visible then it finds the first sheet and gets the first value of that uh, sheet so let me just close it and just uh, change your path here and the, the, where you allocated this file on your system. So it gets item ID from the first sheet. That's correct item ID. So this way you can uh, use PyWin32 to uh, interact with your uh, with the Microsoft uh, applications like Excel. Can you do tons of stuff with it? This is just a very very simple uh, example. So if you like this, please play uh, play uh, play with it. So this is just a very short uh, video for this section. So if you want to dive deeper on your own, uh, you can do that. I will not uh, go in deeper into this um, at this moment. Okay. See you in the next section.